everybody, welcome to our next horse video. Um, this video is called Horse Riding 101. Today we are going to be going over um, different styles of horse riding and we are also going to be going uh, we are also going to be going over different um, paces that the horses ride at and um, so you'll be able to see um, one of our own Girl Scouts um, actually showing us how to trot and canter a horse. Um, so we hope you enjoy this video and we will see you in a minute. There are two different types of uh, riding. There's English riding and there's Western riding. Each one has different events that come along with it. So English riding, you have dressage events, there's jumping events, there's even cross country events. And with Western riding, we have a lot more of the rodeo events. Like for example, pole bending and, ro um, and barrel racing are a few examples. So each one has, each of these styles have different events that are in them. It's just depending on what kind of style you are using and how you are performing. Hi, I'm Askin and I'm going to show you a trot and a canter and then I will also be showing you pole bending. Alright, so Askin just showed you what trotting and cantering looks like, but we don't know the difference. So, this is what a trot is. And now this is what a canter looks like. They can perform uh, with the real poles and the real stands, and they get to do it at a trot or even a canter. We 
We also teach barrel racing here, but we do we start off when you guys are young and we teach you how to do the clover leaf pattern in the in the small arena with the buckets. And then when the girls come back for the two week camps when they're old enough, they learn how to do it with the actual barrels and they get to perform it for their parents. So if you want to be able to perform pole bending and barrel racing for your parents, you gotta grow up in the programs to be able to show them. All right, so Atkin will be pole bending and essentially what that is is um, she's weaving through the poles here with espresso um, using the you know tips and tricks that we showed out earlier on how to maneuver a horse left or right hi i'm asking i'm going to tell you about my experience here at uh, camp lahita girl scouts i don't exactly remember what age i was when i first started here but when i first started i was a camper that did um back in the saddle and after being back in the saddle I decided that I really wanted to be more involved with the horses instead of all the other activities at camp. Even though I did love all the other activities at camp, the horses portion of the camp made me feel really uh, accomplished in everything I could do. So um, I became a volunteer. I went to winter horse camp and I did the training so I can come out here and volunteer with the horses and work with the girls. And as the years went by, I started to be able to teach inside the arena and teach girls how to ride the horses and feel like they are brave enough to conquer the world on the horses. So this has been the best few years of my life, being able to teach girls how to ride horses and being around these amazing creatures. And I hope you guys can come out too, because everybody here at Camp Lajita loves these horses. Bye! Hey everybody! Thank you so much for watching our videos. Um, about the horses and we hope that you've learned so much. I know that along the way, um, being here at Girl Scouts, working for Girl Scouts, um, and being here out at camp with our girls here, I've learned so much about the horses and um, we hope that you come out and you get to experience this awesome program, um, being with the horses. They're such beautiful creatures um, and you've learned so much from them. So we hope that you enjoyed our horse series and learned a lot and we hope to see you soon and stay safe and take care.